Hey Sagittarius Ascendant, welcome to the channel. It's Michelle, your practical priestess here at Divinely Genuine. So I did say Sagittarius Ascendant. This is not for Sagittarius Sun or Moon. To find out your Ascendant, go to astro.com, enter your birth date, place of birth, and birth time. If you don't have your birth time, you really got to find it. Um, as the ascendant sets up your entire natal chart, and that's how you can understand your astrology. Okay, so for Sagittarius ascendants, this is for your this is a tarot reading for your lunar eclipse happening. Um, the lunar eclipse on the 11th of August, happening in the sign of Leo, which is affecting you guys, I believe, in your ninth house. Let's see. If Sagittarius is here. It's going to go Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. Yes, so Sagittarius Ascendant, the solar eclipse is happening. Let me turn on another light. I feel like there's some shadows. Some shadows. Bwahaha. Just kidding. Terrible joke. Oh, it's just from the lamp. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we should probably leave it like that. Okay, so it's happening in y'all's ninth house. It's actually the ninth house is home to Sagittarius and ruled by Jupiter. Um, it's our higher mind, it's the truth seeker, higher learning, uh, foreign travels. It's um, other cultures. It's your thirst for adventure, okay, is what we find in this house. So um, you have Leo there. So that puts your truest heart desires in these areas. Um, okay, so that's how the solar eclipse will be affecting you guys. Now I have communed with spirit and blessed the decks. Doreen Virtue Healing Fairies and the Tarot Illuminati by Eric Dunn and Kim Huggins. Let's go ahead and cut the deck for Sagittarius Ascendant. And I'm doing one Healing Fairy card and three and a three card spread. All right. We're starting out with the Two of Swords decisions. The Fulcrum of the Mind. Pause during decision making. Uh, Mer Mercury is in retrograde right now as well, so you want to, of course, act in life, but if you can put off making a decision on something big, it would be best. Pause during decision making, being at the crossroads, fear of a decision, change being imminent, the balance between two options, being in two minds, choice presented, change is the only constant, Weighing up your options, paradox, stillness during changing states. Okay. The fulcrum of the mind. Okay, so there will be a decision you need to make in the areas of true heart's desire, love, children, your passions, traveling, foreign cultures, um, higher learning if you're trying to take a course. All of those things. Um, it's just going to, you're going to have some trouble in decision making. Okay. Let's go ahead and move along. We've got Ten of Wands. Okay. Lots of mind stuff going on. The Ten of Wands, again, is the burden of choice. Burdens and responsibilities, heavy baggage, oppression, being relied upon by others, carrying too much on your shoulders, feeling weighed down and unable to cope with the pressure. 
The challenge of pushing past your limits. No pain, no gain. Voluntarily taking on burdens. Okay. And then we have the Prince of Pentacles. That's nice to see after these decision-making cards and burdens weighed upon you. So you're having a hard time making a decision. You're feeling like others are relying on you to where it, it's feeling like a burden. And then you've got this Prince of Pentacles. Pentacles are our self-value and worth, which is then reflected to us in our monetary resources and gain. Uh, Prince of Pentacles. Oh, I'm in the wands. Sorry. It's the stone guardian. Protection, a loyal friend, somebody you can rely on. Careful and cautious movement, a slow-witted person, making careful plans, not rushing in, protecting your investments, loyalty to friends, seeking wealth and stability, the mind applied to the everyday world, okay? Beautiful. So whatever decision that you have to make here pertaining to your passions, children, your heart's desire, um, possible foreign travels, your higher mind, higher learning and education, other cultures, whatever passions you have tied into those areas, you're having trouble making a decision. You're feeling a bit torn um, on which way to go. And it becomes a bit of a burden like we see here with the Ten of Wands. I'd like to look up again. Um, you're feeling like too, too much pressure. Um, it's the burden of choice. So you know to, you need to make a choice. And it just feels so heavy and oppressed, all the responsibility. Okay. And then we've got the Prince of Pentacles. That says that... Um, That you need to be careful and make cautious movement, making careful plans, not rushing in, protecting your investments, seeking wealth and stability, the mind applied to everyday world. So with these choices on travel and your passions and going back to school and that sort of thing, just be cautious in, in the decisions you make and try to wait it out as much as you can and meditate and really get with yourself. The, 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 the fairies are gonna tell us how to respond. Well, they say kindness. Kindness is always a great choice. Okay, you never know what kindness will get you. You might get the, a scholarship. <laughs> you might get a free plane ticket. You just never know. You'll definitely get love and kindness back though. All right, so H-I-J-K, element of E, <laughs> kindness. Practice kindness in all your thoughts and deeds today toward yourself, other people, animals, and the environment. And watch the rewards come your way. We often refer to kindness as thoughtfulness, yet kindness is more correctly described as lovefulness. By drawing this card, the fairies hand you the wonderful assignment of looking for opportunities to be kind today. This, this may mean uncover, undercover kindness in which you do anonymous good deeds, or it could mean being extra alert for strangers who could use a helpful hand or a thoughtful word. 
Kindness can also entail letting someone else win the argument or volunteering, volunteering for a cause you truly believe in. By paying attention to the implications of every thought and action, you begin to develop a kindness habit. Your, inner, your new energy of kindness attracts new loving friends into your sphere. As you practice kindness toward animals, plants, and the environment, you develop a closer relationship with nature. Most important, when you are particularly kind toward yourself by thinking about yourself compassionately and by taking time out for yourself, you are rewarded with a deep sense of inner satisfaction and peace, which would definitely help when you're in this whole indecisive, not knowing which way to go uh, state. Okay, take that time for you. All right, Sagittarius Ascendants, your affirmation during the solar eclipse is I am kind, thoughtful, and loving to myself and others. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, like it, subscribe, share, check out Divinely Genuine Services and Products. I love you guys and wish you the best. Peace.